Well, hello. Should we start? I think that we should start. Agreed. If you're ready. Yeah. Ready. You're listening to the Everything ready Swallow podcast for you, Pickle. with Sean and Shana Swallow. That part, I see that. That's right, it's the swallow. And your fluffy shoes. Cause the swallows in his optional. Make yourself comfortable. Who is that? Do you just said that? Yeah. She changed it to that. Or was that uh, Classy Little Cupcake? I think it was Classy, classy Little Cupcake, yeah. yeah. She said that last part where she changed it to clothing is optional. Yeah, yeah exactly. It should place. be, yeah. And then we're, we're, using, we're blowing into a new music now. Oh, switching it up. It's like, uh, ooh, I like this. Yeah, <laughs> see? <laughs> You're like, oh, I'm feeling comfortable. I might take off my shoes. Right? I'm getting loose. That's the point. <laughs> That's the whole point. That's right. You should just have circus music at all If times. your pants are too tight, this is when you unbutton them. Oh, yeah. It's like Thanksgiving Day all day over here. All day. Get comfortable with <laughs> your fat pants. <laughs> I love fat pants. Me too. That's all I wear. Me too. <laughs> Might be because I'm a little chunky around the middle. <laughs> yeah. Ditto, sister. Ditto. All right. <laughs> We're here. It's Monday. Happy Monday. Happy Monday, everyone. I hope you had a really good weekend. Kick off the Western Stock Show was this weekend. That was very fun. I guess. Yeah, we a lot went there Thursday. Did you? Oh, you did. We, mm-hmm. we saw the parade, but uh, before oh yeah, we, duh. Before we, yeah, we saw I was there. <laughs> well, we want to introduce our guest to you. You can hear her there talking about that, being unaware of what she does day to day. <laughs> Sorry, I'm everywhere. This is Ramy. Hello, Ramy. Hi. I'm so happy you're here. I know. I have to it's apologize to you and tell you I'm sorry it's taken so long to get you here. It's all good. I'm, we're busy. Yeah. Well, and then I started Christmas season. Yeah. Christmas it's season busy. was long this year, but short. All of the it's, it goes by time. real quick. <laughs> but we work so hard. I know. Yeah, man. Okay, so let's give a little backstory to Ramy. Go she- right ahead. Is our friend? She's my I, well. She was my friend first. You yeah. took her as yours. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, you got grandfathered yeah, into totally, this. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> Grammy and I were friends. We met uh, twenty one twenty one years ago. We worked at the same restaurant. We did at the IHOP yep. in Littleton. In Littleton, yeah. which is now the Littleton Cafe, ran with by Becky, Becky, which we love. Amazing restaurant. We go there quite often. She's got two for one drinks. Yes, she does every and day. We should go there and get us some of them drinks yes. when we leave here. Okay, when we're done here. Let's go there and have a big old pile of crepes breakfast mm. <laughs> yeah that's so much um, anyways i was cook, I, I was a cook overnight cook yep and so and you were the waitress one of them yeah yeah because you you could handle the overnight crowd yeah the drunk yeah you weren't afraid <laughs> i was one of you, them yeah you weren't afraid so sean was one of them too I know. well we had a co-worker named glenda that kept a bottle of vodka in glenda. the freezer yeah, oh, glenda died. she did she probably 10 years ago well i'm a liver of failure loop. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. She was great. Glenda she was, was a great. nice older lady. Wait, so she died of liver failure. Yeah, the yeah, lady yeah, who used yeah, to keep yeah. the bottle oh, of vodka yeah, in the Oh, yeah, serious freezer. alcoholic, but the best server. Yeah. Always so happy. Oh, my gosh, she was Just happy. the best. I bet I knew who she was. Oh, I'm sure. She worked there for years and years. Because before I knew you guys, we would go in there and have coffee yeah. at freaking midnight. Yep. Because that's one of the places you could go oh, as yeah. a teenager. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we were open till three, I think. Yeah. Yep. And Sir, all I was those booths, because it was like... all booths, and then the little center row of the single booth, mm-hmm. man, nothing, just lined with coffee pots. Yep, and totally. And a bunch of freaking and you could smoke in there. Kids. Oh, yep. yeah. Oh, yeah, you could smoke right in there, and it would Smoker get smoky. Smoker box, man. Yeah. <laughs> that was great back then, uh-huh. wasn't it? That little A-frame. It's still great. Yeah. I'm really glad they don't smoke in there now. I'm, I'm really glad, glad that the building is still there. Me yeah. too. Because it's that great. It's, yeah. it's, it's like it's iconic. For Mr. Littleton. B still owns it. No. No, no. 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 Bar- Becky owns it. He's totally retired. Huh. He just yeah. turned like 89 or does. something. She wouldn't, he wouldn't sell it. That's what she told us. Maybe that she was. Did? Yeah. Really? Uh-huh. He wouldn't sell it to I don't her. know. Well, she, so if she pops up here, Gaga pops up, we're going to ask her. Well, just randomly out of nowhere. Ask Anyways, me. great place. Uh, great place. Go down there and see it. It's a Daytura, I think. It was great then. Yes. It's great Littleton now. Boulevard and Daytura. Except yeah. for now, no, when you no, leave no, there, no, your no. coat is not ruined. I know. You yeah, could so never anyways. get away with it. Like, I would go home and, oh, why do you smell like cigarettes? 
Oh, was I like, was. Oh, it, was I was it IHOP, it, right? IHOP. <laughs> I didn't smoke. It wasn't oh, because it was the IHOP. You would go to the IHOP on Littleton Boulevard and smoke, or you would go to the Village Inn in Cinderella City. Did smoke. you guys ever go down? Did you ever go to that with the Village Inn in Cinderella City no. and sit there and drink coffee and smoke? What yeah. Was it called in Denver Muddy's? What was it called? No, it was uh, there was two places you could yep, go. Yep, I know what you're talking and about. Smoke yeah. cloves. Was it Rock Island? Yeah, it they was. They closed uh, it down, and I remember there's it. two of them. Ophelia's? No. no. People stole the patio chairs when, when they closed it down. <laughs> Anyways, funny. those were the good old days. Yeah, and you'd go yeah. there and smoke clove cigarettes and, yeah. and hang out and be like, yeah. I cool. love the smell of clove cigarettes, but man. Oh. But smoking them is so harsh. Oh. And I'm a smoker. I'm like, me too. I smoked yeah. anything uh, and everything. I, and those are, yeah. I was a casual smoker, yeah. so then I'd be like, Ooh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you get high for oh, sure. Oh, God. And Cloves sick. get you high. Because then you're drinking coffee. And smoking those, <laughs> oh, just yeah. tweaking out all yeah, night. Yeah, right. Could walk home. <laughs> yeah, right. Anyways, for sure. Um, so anyway, anyway that's how we so, met. We, so we were working there at the half. We went. So of course we just you know got to know each other and because we were Littleton's all, a small place, so we run into each other a lot here a and lot. there. Yep. And so then um, we fell out of contact for s- several years. Many years. And then we would just see each other randomly. And then one day <clears throat> we had moved into an apartment down in Littleton. Yep. And we saw you walking down the street, and that's when you met Shayna for the first time. Yep. And you guys had a party. Yeah. yeah. On yeah. Stern Parkway. Yeah. Yep. yep. And I went to that party. Yeah. What's up, Classic? That was that was when I met Ramy. B- I met Ramy at IHOP. Mercury Cafe. When I met and Muddy's. Sarah. Mercury Cafe. Mercury that's Cafe. It. And like Muddy's. Mercury yeah. Cafe and Muddy's. Yeah. Absolutely. That's what it was. Nice done, Allie. I figured. I thought that might be you. Yeah. Knew that she would know. Yep. Absolutely. Yep. All Mercury right. Cafe. So I don't really remember meeting you. No. You were just because. There. Um, I think the first time I met you. Might have been the second time was at Arby's when you and were I was very pregnant, pregnant nine with months him. pregnant, oh, and I was on yes. my way to a concert. Yep. Yes, yep. that's I right. I because forgot that. I knew of you because he talked about you, right. and like Sarah talked about you being at IHOP and everything. And then I think that was the first yeah, time that I right. met you. Oh, maybe Cause I, it could have been like that's the first I was time so in my mind's eye. That day. Yeah. Maybe one more time. Maybe one more time at IHOP because no, I went to a party at your house before that on Stern Parkway yeah. because um, yeah. yeah, I was pregnant twelve there. years ago, obviously. So and yeah. and you guys lived there before well, that. Yeah, absolutely right. before that. So I don't yeah, remember that's probably you, then. but you yeah. probably came to the party and then we saw you again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then years later, we saw you at the bus stop. And then I feel like years later again, we saw you at the bus stop on oh, this side of town. Probably. And way then, yeah, down and then, on Wadsworth. Right. And I think I saw you at this gas station. You're like, yeah, oh, I live you right behind here. And yes. I was like, so do I. Yes. And then it was just kind of yeah, absolutely. natural after that. Well, I remember. Somebody's having some trouble here. I remember. Um, you, we knew each other. We knew who each other were. And then one random day, we were leaving her sister's house, and you were at the bus stop. And we picked you up, and we're like, what are you doing? And we're like, oh, we're right here. And so gave you a ride home. And then it was not recent. It was, it was not, not after long that. after that. You called me and said, hey, listen, I'm going to go pick up Ramy and go Take her drive to her to get, get to Walmart. <laughs> and, and I was like, really? <laughs> and she was like, yeah, you had posted on Facebook or something like that. Ben was, was sick. sick. And you needed have medicine. A car. And you need to go to Walmart to get the prescription, and it's like it's yeah. three your, your, hours. Your post was like, "This really sucks. It's going to take me three hours to, to go do, get my kids' medicine for five seconds of yeah. walking in there and out." Yeah, and I sucked. was like, "Oh, I'm going to go get her." Yeah, and, 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 and <laughs> oh, I, I, I was you. like, "Okay, cool." <laughs> and then you guys were just a friends friend, after that, like super friends ever since. Yeah, I was out yeah. of the loop. Pretty Sorry. much, you were always <laughs> at work. <laughs> I was. I'm always at work. I know. Saying yeah. as you guys, you stay-at-home moms got to be bind together. Well, we yeah. went and worked out for a long time yeah, in the morning. Walk, we'd walk around the neighborhood. Mm-hmm. Oh, I remember that. We should do that again. Oh, but you're over there. We'll walk around yours. Yeah, but I, could come I like house. your neighborhood. It's, Mine's ghetto. I know. That's what's great about it. But there's so much more to look <laughs> at. Right? It's Littleton ghetto, so it's kind of not ghetto. Well, I live in the... Yeah, you know, the border of Inglewood. Yeah, yeah. Well, we don't <laughs> right. need to say anything more specific yeah, than that. I love yeah. it. Um, but and during that whole time, unbeknownst to us, you were going through this whole life transition, right? Mm-hmm. Right. You were like a secret agent. Because I dark think <laughs> when I cartel. met you oh, yeah. and took you to go get Ben's meds, I don't even know how long you had been out of jail at that point. 
probably not long. Not long. Because he was young. Mm -hmm. And I got... He Which was is little. why we fell out of touch for a while. We didn't see oh, well, each yeah, other. Oh, yeah, I didn't talk to anybody who wasn't you know, in the... You were in the big in house. In the system. In, in the system, <laughs> yeah. In the whole... Uh, well, let's back up. Life cycle. Of How did you get in the system? Uh, I was a bad kid. <laughs> well, I mean, it started when I was a kid. Right. I mean, basically, I think I got arrested the first time when I was 14. Oh, my God. You're so hard. Or maybe 15. Wow. But we were in... How scary um, was that? It was pretty scary. What was that arrest for? But it, we were in, you know, on Broadway and like... Um, Past Arapaho, Past Ridge. There was all those houses that weren't built yet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we were in there partying. In the in the structures? In the structures. Yeah. And um, somebody called the cops because one of my friends broke a window. And so oh. we took off. The cops were right behind us. Yeah. And um, we all went down. We all went down. Well, except one girl. You know who she is. <laughs> I don't know who she is. Who well, she? you don't know who she is, but she, she didn't go to jail. She knows who she is. <laughs> that day when everybody else went to jail. She... Well, who was it? Well, let's tell her. Let's out well, her. She knows she's a snitch. Yeah. Oh, oh, she turned on you guys. Snitches she turned on us more stitches. than once. Yeah. Oh, more than once. More than once. Oh, there was like a more girl. serious incident Ooh. that we all went to jail for We're that she did that. not go Same to jail for. Same group of people. Like, We're going to get to people. that. Okay. So you, you, you knew them pretty well, though. Yeah. Yeah. Like I mean, you grew yeah. up with them. It yeah. was your kind of core group of people. Yeah. And so that was your first time going to jail and it did not scare you straight. Uh, Maybe for a little bit, but no, my mom came and got me every single time. Yeah. Every time. I and love your mom. Me too. We were just talking about this. Like you should have just left me there. Yeah. Why? I, she, I didn't want you to have a record. Like, but I maybe wouldn't have had such a record. Right. Had you I, it left wouldn't me have gone time. so long. Right. Because right. the, cause oh. the way that you kind of I feel like you were scared straight was way meaner and then if she would have just left you there but we'll talk Absolutely. about that as we get there oh yeah yeah I mean if she if I if I would have had consequences at home I think I would have been a lot better off than yeah just kind of being saved every time it's like the follow through on the scared straight yeah right like this the is cops it. you're grounded get you and then the, when you get home it's like no nah, you fucked up yeah, you fucked up, but hey, just take an apple talk later. No. Ah, wow. No. Yeah. I made you scrub the oh, fucking baseboards. Oh, no. The first time I got a DUI, she knew I was up all night in detox. And she was like, I know you're tired. Just go to bed. Oh, but we'll again, talk later. Why? And we never talked mom. about it. Yeah. Wow. You know, yeah. I mean, we talk more now about that kind of thing than we ever <laughs> have did then. when it was going on. Well, I, I mean, as being a parent now, uh, sometimes it is like, I don't know how to handle this. Right. I agree. But but you still handle it. I have to. Yeah. Because I, even though I know my kid is the perfect angel right now, he may not be when he gets a little older. When he but gets wait, to, high old, school is what How old is he me. now? He's 12. And how, how old were you when you got caught the first time? 14? 14. Yeah. But uh, you, how do you feel like you were as a 12 year old? I was bad. Were you? Yeah, yeah. I was smoking. Yeah. See, and I he's was, not Were you just that. running with a bad crowd or... I I no I came from a really tiny town in Nebraska, so when I oh. got here it was a culture shock, oh, and I okay. didn't know anybody, so I think I just sense. kind of I wanted to that. be cool. Yeah. Okay. And so anybody that told me to do anything, I was going to do it. Yeah. And then you're in a kind of a big crowd yeah. and in a big town, Huge. and so it's like, oh, oh yeah, man. Oh, yeah. I came from a town of 1,200 people, and oh, then really? I go to a school with 1,200 people. It's so. Yeah. Not, so different. I it, for some reason thought you were a native, so when you moved here, you moved right to Littleton. Yeah, Zah. Ridge and her Cedar. mom was a Zah. school teacher. I got you. Okay. Yeah, she was a teacher my whole life. Yeah. Mostly. Oh, okay. That's why you're so smart. Name <laughs> <laughs> is so just, good at English. Just yeah, make bad are. decisions. Yeah, uh, <laughs> so, when did you start doing the drugs? Selling, the drug, the uh, devil's weed. Did you start with weed? I no. See, it's not alcohol. A gateway. Uh huh. Booze is a gateway. Absolutely. Booze is a gateway. Um, yeah, me and my friend Jesse stole my mom's whiskey and got yes. fucked up and puked all night long in oh, a pan. But I, my mom yuck. never said anything, so I don't know if she even knew that. Probably not. You should she ask probably her did. Now. I don't know. Parents generally know everything. They, they just, just don't understand. They pick and choose what they want to yeah. admit that they know. I tried to snitch on my brother one time for smoking weed, and I was like, you know, he's smoking whatever's in that pipe. And she's like, well, when you're 14, you can smoke it too. Oh my God. <laughs> like, well, that didn't work out the way I wanted it to. So then I never wanted to smoke weed because it was fine. Right. But, and she then I was like, She should have made everything fine. 
Yeah, right? cigarettes and and alcohol were first, and then then I tried weed, and then um, I don't know if it was meth or acid first. Mm, wow, I acid. Uh, you think meth? I think I was afraid of acid at first. Yeah, I meth did acid turned me first. out. Yeah, I loved it. Yeah. I, I mean, I still love it. I still love it. <laughs> Sean still loves it. That's why I don't it. do it. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's it's an ongoing yeah, joke around it here. You. It's a it's it's a see, it gets a meth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, skinny I'd be. That's all meth. Yeah. yeah. Gosh, Ooh. I get back to my stripper days. <laughs> <laughs> your house would be so clean, uh, and all painted. your projects would be done. Oh, Tell that it'd be. But painted. we'd have no teeth. Yeah. <laughs> well, my teeth are made out of glass. You can you can get away with it then. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Interesting. Meth. Um, I was always afraid of LSD too, of acid, but yeah. I did it a few times, maybe two, two oh. or four. But woo, it never had a good, a good outcome. Really? With acid? Ever? Oh, I did never. It all the time. It was. See, great. and all my friends, they would take the same acid mm -hmm. in me. Oh, I got some demons in me. That must be what <laughs> it <laughs> is. And I, I must be going into a mindset that yeah, it's gonna maybe be bad. my it's brain's be bad. not. Right. I got a bad. I got a bad acid brain. I got a bad brain. Yeah, I got, I got a brain. A Abby normal. <laughs> that was Abby my sister. <laughs> my sister's Abby normal. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, because I just never liked it. I did acid a couple times. Yeah. But I do feel like they affect me a little differently. I do it with Sarah, and she would like have a way harder trip than I would have. Yeah. And then I think I that you, just, kind you of, have more control. Yeah. Shana has so. a strong brain. Yeah, and yeah. she's very she's much in mind. control of what she's doing all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When I am not, it's ugly. <laughs> I'm sure. I've never seen that. I don't yeah, want to. Thank you, Jesus. No. <laughs> yeah. Sean's, Sean's, Sean's scared. scared. Me either. Never seen that. Good. It's like you don't want to see it. <laughs> I don't want to. I see got it. some demons in me. <laughs> got, well, me and you both, <laughs> sister. <laughs> All right. That's so great. So you started young. Yeah. You came right in. Yeah. Freaked out. Came into this hard Littleton in the late eighties. <laughs> it was the early nineties. Early nineties, yeah. even worse. Even oh worse. my God, we were wearing MC Hammer pants. Uh huh. Gosh, so oh. you were not here that long. I mean, smoking like, opiates. No, because I was I was in fifth grade when I moved here. Yeah, so I went to fifth grade and up here. And so, yeah, because yep. I met Sean in ninety nine. Yeah. But you guys are the same age, aren't you? No, no, she's Ray, older than Ramey's me. Ramey's younger. Oh, mm -hmm. older I just turned forty. Mm -hmm. Oh, me too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, interesting. So then you lived that way for a while. Uh huh. And around. it was um, probably till. Uh, uh, 18 till I graduated maybe and then um, the people that I was running with left yeah and they didn't go to they were older than me they were probably in their mid 20s right and they um, picked up and left and they moved to Florida oh shit and so it was kind of like well hmm. what do and I do now at that time I didn't even think of myself as an addict or anything like that it was just like okay well I'm not doing that anymore yeah right. because You're I your... didn't know any of the people I didn't know what to do i'm still a kid basically yeah you know, 17 18 years old and um quit doing math for years yeah years um but still drank all the time all smoked the time. pot all the time yeah. um i don't know maybe did shrooms or you know yeah here whatever and there. here and there mm -hmm. but mostly just alcohol uh, that got me into a lot of trouble. Mm -hmm. I got three DUIs. I got one oh when I was God. 18. Wow. I really? didn't know that. I didn't know that oh, either. Yeah. And then, um, holy ball sack. One summer I went to Iowa. I was there three days, went to jail oh. for DUI. Oh, shit. Well, that makes sense <laughs> why you always walked everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Well, I never had a license. Yeah. Right. That makes sense. Right. Now. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, I, should, I probably should put that together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. I mean, I drove even when I didn't have a, I license, have a license, obviously, because I was in jail for driving without a license several times too um they and put then, you in jail for that oh yeah it's oh a, heck yeah you <laughs> have to have a license because yours well yours is like revoked you don't have a license right. not like i just don't have one on me no yeah, yeah. it's revoked the yeah. state revoked yeah. it yeah. it's like gone for, you a cannot, for a dui yeah which is a felony so when they pull it's not you, a felony not, now it wasn't then it right might be now. My, oh, yeah okay. wow. um and then um i came back from iowa and that's a whole other shit show um, we ended up on Judge Judy for that. What? Yeah. You were on Judge Judy? I, you guys we know this. We need to get this. Yeah, we need to get this what audio. Episode? 
I, what episode? I don't know. I've never seen it. Actually, um, they were supposed to notify you when it was going to air. Yeah. And it was a real big secret from my grandma at the time because I was an angel. She didn't know I was in trouble. Right. She didn't know anything about it. But she mm. was a hardcore Judge Judy uh, fan so and watched why it every were day. You on Judge Judy? Because when I went to jail, you can't, she couldn't, my mom couldn't find an out of state bondsman that would get me out. Oh. So the girl I was staying with, my mom sent her the money. Right. So when I went back to court to get the bond money back, it didn't go to my mom. It went to the to girl the, yep. and the girl stole it. Yeah. What She's, year uh, did you go on it on Judge Judy, you think? It was 90, 2007. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I've looked for it. I can't find it. But anyway, my grandma saw it and she was ecstatic she was like oh my god you guys are celebrities and was like did you even see what was happening right did like, you see I was why in big trouble there. i was on there right yeah. <laughs> and then i came back to colorado after all of that um and almost a year to the day later got another dui oh my god i did a lot of time for that i did almost two years in denver county for that and i started out on work release was that be number f- three three that okay the final what okay. year did you say 2007 2007 2008 Maybe. Um, and I was on work release for part of that. Right. And I got pregnant. Okay. So I was going to say, when did you get so pregnant? They, they, it was 2005, Sean, because Ben was born in seven, 07. Yeah. So it was Perfect. before that. So anyway, they took my work release away because obviously I wasn't just at work. Right. Because you're not supposed to get pregnant not on work to release. Do that. Um, well, what if you're a hooker? <laughs> But then you can't be on work release. Oh, okay, never it's mind. It's not legal. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> it has to come with a W-2. Yeah. It's got to have a, a real paycheck. 2005. Okay. And uh, then I just finished out my time and I was kind of... And so just... then you were pregnant in jail. Mm-hmm. That was horrible. Yeah, that'd be horrible. That'd be heartbreaking. Yeah. And you'd be so scared. I'd be so scared. Well, I was. I mean, I'm in Denver County as a white girl is scary, period. But yeah. being pregnant is very scary. Cause I've never done it before. Yeah. And um, and then you're there. And they bring you that little jail suit for your baby. Little orange, <laughs> well, little I, orange. Thought, I thought they would take my baby. <laughs> little orange yeah. jumpsuit. You know, I didn't know when I would be out. <clears throat> yeah. Because the judge was have zero leniency on me. He told me, I'm not giving you good time. I'm not giving you nothing. anything. You get nothing. You get nothing. And I actually went... And wrote a uh, a letter to the judge asking him if I could, you yeah. know, have reconsideration. Yeah. If he would give me my good time or if I could do something. To get out early. To get out Because er- you're having a baby. Early. And he was like, you were pregnant in jail? Absolutely not. Blah, blah, blah. Like, he was mad. Yeah. Thankfully, somebody made a mistake on the paperwork that said release the inmate. Oh, yeah. Nice. So I was released from Denver County the next day. But I went directly to Arapahoe County for an something that didn't even matter i would shouldn't even been there oh, but it was whatever an unrelated thing uh-huh because they, you're already in the system mm-hmm. so then they're like I, oh yeah we'll take i her missed now. court because you were in jail for that because i was in jail so they i had a warrant and they took me to Rapo county but i had to call my mom collect to oh. tell her i was pregnant oh. she was so oh. mad and i was in her car when i got the dui oh so she was just so mad for so long but then once i came home it was different I think because obviously I was going to stay sober because I was going to have a baby. Yeah. And so when you got out of jail that time, you you were still pregnant. Yeah. I was only three or four months pregnant. Okay. It's brand new. And then like you're March. out and now you're out and you have Ben. Mm-hmm. You have your beautiful baby. Mm-hmm. And then what happened? Um, oh, then. <laughs> <laughs> what were you on Judy for? What was it? What was the case about? Um, the girl st- uh, stole... Money. Money. She stole $2,000 from my roommate mom. Just a roommate or just a... Uh, just I mean, a I guess she money. was a roommate at the time. All right. Okay. okay keep going. Um, Would it be roommate? Remember what time roommate of the year? steals bail money? Summertime? August, maybe? Okay, good. Because I'm in February. That'd, be, that'd save me some time. I've looked everywhere, Sean. If you find it, I'll I've got your a whole complete butthole. episode list right here from <laughs> from ninety six on. And he likes so his butthole are. kissed. And I... <laughs> he didn't even catch it. Oh, I caught it. <laughs> Um, so I met a, uh, a doctor, a family doctor that I take my son to, and I took him one day. He was real young, obviously still an infant. And she looked at me and was like, what is wrong with you? And I told her I had a migraine and she was like, make an appointment to come back and see me. We'll talk about it. See what we can do for you. And I'm like, okay, made an appointment, come back. And she gives me a prescription for like 120 
Vicodin or something like that. Holy shit. Wow. For your migraine. For a headache that I had one time when I saw her. Right. But, I mean, I, I've always had migraines and it's always been... Yeah, an issue. What, an issue, but it's whatever. Of course, I'm just taking them to take them and eventually figured out that I could get whatever I want out of her. Right. And um, mm. it went from, you know, 5 milligram Vicodin to 10 milligram Vicodin to 30 milligram per... Uh, or 30 milligram oxy cotton. Cottons. And um, to 60s to 80 milligrams. And I at one point, I was getting almost a thousand pills a week. Wow! Gee whiz. A week. What do you think the milligram was of on oxys? those? Oh, yeah. Oh, I had 30 milligrams. I had 80 milligrams. I had you five. had it all. I had it all. She would give me, Ooh. not just me. Later on, I found out it wasn't just me, of course. But it was like. It was a pharmacy she was giving you. She was making mad money. Yeah, because then no, yeah. she got kicked back from the pharmaceutical company. Yes. For how because, many prescriptions or how many pills right. she gave out. I, yeah, that's how it works. The, you know, you mm-hmm. write so many prescriptions. And, of course, uh, most of her patients at the time were probably on Medicaid. Ah. So she gets mad payout. Yeah. And, uh, it, I mean, it was crazy. Crazy. I mean, if she, if wow. you knew she was going out of town, there was probably 150 people in her office just waiting to for get, them really? to print out prescriptions. Wow. Um. At one point, she had lost her office. Like, they didn't pay the rent or... Uh, um, How stuff. do you not pay your well, rent when you had have this a, many people coming? Because none of us are paying her. Oh. We're all on Medicaid. And um, she's just making money off of and the... And she had, um, like, a, pharmaceutical like a, company. a roommate or yeah. whatever, another doctor that worked in there. And I think that they kind of were going to go their own separate ways. Yeah. Well, she would slip prescriptions under my front door. Oh, my God. I'd wake Ooh. up in the morning and I just have... That means she came to your house. house. She came to my house to deliver <clears> prescriptions. <throat> She didn't have an office. She was meeting people at coffee shops where the whole parking lot was just filled with people waiting for her. Holy shit. And even... That's not conspicuous. It was freaking bogus. Like, and at the time, I loved it. Yeah, I yeah. Was, I was making so much money. Yeah. Right. I was you're, so you're high. getting you're the prescriptions and you're and... just selling them. Yeah. Uh, oh, hell yeah. Yeah. And I paid a dollar for prescriptions. Oh, my God. So, and there would be right. hundreds of pills in that hundreds. prescription. So then you'd turn around and make thousands of dollars. Thousands of dollars. And the pharmacies where you were filling these never questioned anything. Nope. Not the, not to me. Well, right, right. Yeah. But she eventually did get busted. Well, yeah. yeah I, well, Everyone, yes, of course. I feel like, did. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, and when I was in jail for that. <laughs> and how old were you at this point? 29. Wow. Yeah. Um, yeah, so eventually, you know, I'm too fucked up and the pills quit coming. Yeah. So I go and, you know, people you meet in the game right. have connections to other things and start doing meth again. Right. Um, and heroin and everything else. And everything comes to an end when it's like that. You yeah. can't just have it forever. No. And so, yeah. you know, I get... You did heroin too? Yeah. Oh my gosh. So much cheaper and easier to get than pills. That's crazy. Yeah. Did you shoot it up? No. Just took it a different way. Smoke it. Oh. That's insane though. Because now you have been given this addiction, basically. By somebody that you're supposed to trust. Trust. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And now here you are on all this other fucked up shit just because you were on those for so long. Because this went on for a while. Uh, a couple of years. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, at that point, you aren't even, it's not even about the pills or whatever no. it's about survival yeah i'm not going to be able to feel like i'm going to live yeah if i don't get high right. yeah your, your brain your is body. your brain is telling you uh, your, your body, body is telling, telling you you're, you're, you're gonna, gonna die throwing up and you can't stop shitting and you're shaking and you're hot and you're cold and it's just like the flu you're moody times oh the mood is off the charts i mean it's like you have the flu times 10 yeah the worst flu you've ever had and there's nothing that can stop it except getting high. more drugs more getting drugs. more pills or whatever mm-hmm. and it's 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 a fucked up way to uh, way it, to live but that's the way it was yeah yeah and you know people stop fronting you drugs giving you drugs you pay them later and people stop giving you money and people stop buying your stuff and you know eventually you have nothing left to sell right and so you start stealing yeah and um I stole from my mom I, a lot. Yeah. Um, probably because it was easiest. Yeah. Um, and she called the cops. Yeah. Which was the best thing in the world she could have done. Yeah. 
Finally. Finally. Well, Finally. and it, well, I mean, she had called the cops before, but she'd come and get me. Mm-hmm. Um, and this time it was, that was it. She took my kids. She That's took, she took everything. And she there was, was no like, contact. There you. was no money. There was no nothing. And that was just the way it's going to be until you're better. better. Yeah. And it took a long time. Even after I got out of jail, I was, um, sentenced to drug court yeah where you have to stay sober you have to go through th- therapy you have to do yeah everything and they keep you on a strict schedule yeah until you can prove that you can do good mm-hmm. and i had a hard time doing that it was like 18 month program took me three years yeah and it was crazy yeah and it was probably the last time the judge told me, because if you fucked up, she would send you to jail for the weekend. Right. Or the week or whatever. And she was, you know, there's a bunch of different punishments that I had to go through. But the last time she sentenced me to 10 days in jail and she was this, the last time you're going to be in Jefferson County. Oh. Wow. Your choice. Yeah. And that was it. I mean, and I think it was me and one other kid that had been like the longest running drug, drug court yeah, people, people ever because yeah. she didn't give people chances like no. that. But I'm at the same time, I don't know that we deserved it. Right. But but it, it worked. It worked. Yeah, it worked in the end. And I think that one time we picked you up at the bus stop, way out there on Wadsworth, you were catching, you were doing a transfer because you were just coming from doing a UA. Probably. And oh, you were we like, did that a lot. Mm-hmm. And it was a really shitty day. It was cold and yeah. crappy. Yeah. And yeah. we drove by and I was like, hey, that's Raimi. Yeah. <laughs> I had came three back around. years of that. Yeah, I know. Golly. That's me. You have to pay for all those. Two. Every every. Uh, I didn't have to pay for take. UAs, but you know, I have but to she had the to. Bus. Yeah, she had to pay to get yeah. there right. once yeah. a week. Still pay. Yeah, yeah. It's it was a lot. Would you say drug court saved your life? Absolutely. Yeah, hundred percent. Because I don't think I I I know I probably would have never put myself in therapy. No, and they did. Right. That you have to. Yeah. You have to figure out what the fuck's going on. Yeah. You know, and why. Yeah. Which is great. Yeah. Um, And I don't think any junkie wants to be a junkie. No. No. A lot of people just don't know any it different. It just happens, right. And then I, I feel like sometimes, like, you just wake up and you're in this place. Yeah. It's like, wait, wait, wait. How the fuck did I get here? Well, and when you, when you can have everything. Yeah. Because you've got all kinds of money. Yeah, from selling your drugs. Well, you it, bought a house. I no. Well, I did buy a house, but not from drug money. Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> no, no. I, I thought when you were selling pills, no, no, your no, house no. in Highlands Ranch, you didn't buy that house. No, it was in DTC, and we just rented it. Yeah, and it was whatever. We didn't get evicted, but we stopped paying rent because it was such a fucked up place to be. Yeah. Um, and that's when things got really bad. That yeah. I had to move back in with my mom, but I was still fucked up. So yeah. I would just leave my kid and go get fucked up. And she, but she wouldn't let me take him at the same time. No. She's like, no, you yeah, don't, I you know, know where you're going, car. right? I know what you're doing, right? So it was like, <clears throat> I would just leave. And the reason she called the cops, not only because I stole from her, but I had taken her car one night. Oh shit! Yeah, and so, so she's like, this is she, over. She had already called the cops. Um, and they actually were waiting for me down the block when I got back. She was already on 911 mm-hmm. and was like, that's it. You're done. You're wow. done. And I had gotten arrested probably 12 times in three months. Holy Ooh. shit. How many arrests do you think you've gotten in your life? Holy shit. You had to put a number. Well, that's 12 in three months. That's... Uh, me, 25 times. <laughs> wow. That's a lot. It is a lot. It's too much. That's too many. I know. For your young little life. Yes. All right, so the drug court, you were you were balling. Yeah. How did you get out of jail? I mean, how is it that you were able to get out of jail 25 times? Um, I thought that was hard. Did the dog, the bounty hunter, ever get you out of jail? No. Oh. No, no. Um, a, couple, the, a couple times, the people that I was running with didn't really want me in jail, so they would come and get me. They, they would oh, post bond. Oh, I got you. So, st- like your suppliers or the yeah. people you- People oh. I sold drugs for. Okay, so after the doctor dried up, then then you ne- then did you start getting supplies from someone else? Yeah. Okay. Because I would sell, you know, I was selling pills and also buying pills from everywhere, mm-hmm. so right. that you meet people that are doing the same thing, mm-hmm. know, and they know people and they right. know people. So all you really have to do is ask. You're like, so hey, can you get some meth? Or you get into a syndicate in a way. Yeah. Were you in like a with the mafia? Were they Italian? No. <laughs> no. Probably better Italians not say. don't. Do math. Oh, they don't. Oh, <laughs> Mexicans, Mexicans do. I was gonna say, oh. right? I was gonna say, Orale, yeah, <laughs> right. the Italians. 
Dental yeah, mask with no, that. Yeah, no, they do. They do like gun shit Italians. Gun shit. Yeah, and Mexicans. Bazookas. We do the drugs. Yeah, but if you want a bazooka, you go to an Italian. <laughs> right. That's right, <clears throat> a Guido. Okay, so those guys <laughs> would roll up in their low riders and get you out of jail. Basically. Like Napoleon Dynamite. Yes. Okay. Exactly like that. Okay. And I'm the tall, skinny white guy. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay. Troy went to so many calls of overdose. I think that's still oh. happening. Yes, yeah, so you know, Troy from uh, Code 3 Paranormal is a former police officer. Oh. Yeah. Um, I actually Googled that doctor a couple years ago, and um, she still has a job, by the way. Um, Do you still think- licensed? I don't think she's licensed to write prescriptions, but she's still licensed. Do you she think still works that in Littleton. you can sue her? I have thought about that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> because it's like... But listen... The, there's, you know, people write stuff about the doctor or whatever. And this woman said, you know, my daughter's OD three times and come back to you and you still give her oh. pills. Oh, my God. Like, why? I mean, sh- the, I think the doctor's a those? pill popper, too. That's what I was going to say. How many pills is the doctor taking? Right. Yeah. And, and I think she was making a shit ton of money off of totally. everybody else. Well, that was in the, the days when they were making money from the reps and all that. I mean, oh, yeah. they they gave me 120 um Vica profens or whatever the hell they were every time uh, once she a gave, month she yeah. month. gave you everything she gave and I'd be like oh those aren't working and so she that gave was me my thing at first she'd too. give yep. me oh try this tremadol or try this yep doxaficanol yeah here's some try Dilaudid. this Dilaudid. Some, I mean, try this just, Percocet and so they, I, they make money off of it now it's a huge problem not like a, you can't even get leg. Percocet really no yeah. and, but, and they're like here's four Right. When, oh, yeah. When I just had now, surgery, which she's is like, good. I'll give you 15. I'm like, I don't even want the 15. Yeah. But, you know. Yep. I was like, back in the day, I would have got 100. Right. Yeah, exactly. Right. Easy money. And, well, because you and sell it, was, it too. Yeah. Like, for, oh, I'm a, I, my immune's high. Oh, I, I don't, don't even know, you know how many times oh. I went to the emergency room. Yeah. Just for something. Yeah. Just because I was feeling shitty. Oh, that's, that's horrible. And I hated when I knew I was hooked, too. I knew I couldn't stop doing it. I wouldn't And I, it. it was horrible. I, well, I didn't want to admit. It's just Shana busted me with a <laughs> swimming in a bottle of empty freaking containers or yeah. a, a bath of empty containers, basically. I said to basically. him, why did you keep all these That's fucking what I empty know. bottles? I don't know either. I took the labels off so you couldn't date them. Like, I'm like, oh, those are from before. Yeah, but they, they were weren't here lying. a year ago. <laughs> yeah, they were just lined. And, and it's like, yeah. what in the hell? And I wanted I to was murder put, that doctor. I was yeah. going to put little trinkets. I wish I had all those right now because I have a bunch of beads. I have nothing to do <laughs> with. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, but, but that was my intention was to save the containers. But in, in a way, saving the containers is saved what saved you. me. Right, absolutely. Because she found the containers, which then caused me to have to face the fact I'm saying, yes, she, I, yes. I, I don't feel like day. I can live without this I it was know. a horrible day it was a horrible and day. i need your help because I, I was scared to, like 100 percent clueless and, I, and you, you think just because you've never really been around it and you haven't seen it that's why you were clueless i had or, no at this point i had no idea he was even still taking pills oh because he had gone through the surgeries those two mm-hmm. years of surgeries we did the vasectomy reversal and that's actually what set him back on the pills mm. was the vasectomy reversal which is also a kick in the face um because it makes you wonder, is that why we never got pregnant? It's because you were on dope the whole time. You know what I mean? It's this whole thing. But um, so he had been getting the pills and I knew he'd been getting the pills. But then he told me he'd stop seeing the doctor. Like, I'm not going to the doctor anymore. I'm not. I don't need anything. I'm better now. Da, 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 da. Mm. And then we do the vasectomy reversal, come back. And it was shortly after that that I found out. And it was like. So how long had you been lying to me? Yeah. Which he had to lie really hard because, as everybody knows, I take but, care of him a hundred percent. You guys are together the all time. the time, all the time, Ramy, all the time. And that's why when when I found some some shit and I figured it out, then he like started running to all his hiding places, mm-hmm. and it was like, oh my god. Like, this has been going on a really long time because there's not just three bottles here. It's not three months. It's 100. There's, yeah, this has been a really long time. And we had been trying probably at that point when I found out you were on the pills a year to have a baby. And we never could have him. But he had been on pills the entire time, you know. We're still trying. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> that doesn't matter yeah. at this point. But yeah, you know what I mean? And then like for me, it's like had I known that that vasectomy reversal was going to set him I back on the pills, that. fuck wouldn't, no. Would have no. never done it because it, no, it's more Did important you, to you be know, the is, most healthy absolutely. person. Did you 
go to therapy or did you just kick it on your own and work through it by yourself? Just worked through it by myself with Shana. I, I tortured myself here. We threw everything away and I just suffered through it. Suffered through it. I feel like didn't sleep for like th- didn't sleep for like three days, right? Shaking, uh, freezing, yeah. sweating, and I horrible. feel like it was easy for him because I was I prepared there, at this point to like have this mess of a human <clears throat> being. But I feel like me catching him kind of released him. Probably like, because a lot of it is guilt. Yeah, oh, and like you God. make yourself feel so bad. It was and like so he horrible. says, it's it's, yeah. it's like okay. mind control. Just He's even like thinking those about it. pills. Talk to your brain. Yeah. And they tell you. And you you, talk to yourself. Yes. You say you need that. And And I'm not going to feel good unless I get it. Right. And And you're just going to be sick if you don't take it. Oh, my God. Just take one. Even when you have some and you're looking. Yeah. And nobody's got any dope and you just are not having any luck, even though you still have one pill left and you're Mm -hmm. still going to be okay, you feel sick. Yeah. I'm going to be know It's not going to do it. It's It's not going to do it. This one pill's not going to carry me through. What am I going to do? Nobody's ever going to have any kind of dope ever again, and I'm going to fucking suffer. And I'm going to die. I'm yep. going to die. Yeah. Well, I never, I never went to a black market pill person. I, you know, mine came right from the doctor, and then we, I called the doctor and I said, "Listen, do stop. Call Walgreens and tell them to stop giving me refills." Yeah. Because it was just on this open. I had an open door of refills, yeah. and uh, because you, I'm addicted to these pills that you've given me, and I don't want them anymore. And I think I took the phone and was like, you better fucking and not ever give my another fucking pill She gave her the business. She said, I'm coming again. down there. I'm going to get you. Shoving every one of these pill bottles up your asshole. Uh-huh. I Trying to my steal my life. my doctor was a pill popper. And, yeah. And even when I was in jail, um, I met probably five other women oh, that went to the same doctor. Wow. And they were like in Westminster, like word of mouth, like, no, go See, to this Inglewood doctor. She can get you. His was a workman's wow. comp doctor. Yeah. Which I feel like is very much the same way. You're getting paid Absolutely. for every time and, and for then everything. when she got busted, she referred me to a doctor in Boulder. <laughs> Here's my friend. Yep. Go see them. Really? But he was much more strict. It was like once a month kind of thing, which yeah. was fine because I was getting pills. Yeah. But it, uh, obviously it wasn't enough. But... I mean, he was kind of like, well, I, I'm hesitant because of this doctor's name. Right. And, and I, now you're I get tagged. It. I get it. I don't want to be around her. I get it. Right. And so I was like, okay, well, I'll take you on, you know? And like, oh my God. It was a lot. Yeah. And now, wow. how and many now, years has that been? Seven. Seven years. Seven years have been clean. Now, do you from... still have the itch to no. get back on the junk ever? No, no me either. No. Um, I took Suboxone for several mm-hmm. years. What is that? Um, is that kind of like it's um it's um a drug, a prescription that um, you can get to block the receptors in your brain. Yeah, it's not like make, methadone. No, it is kind of like methadone, okay. but different. Okay. Okay. Uh, methadone actually, I was taking methadone, and that was harder to come off of than anything else. Oh. Really? But I was sick for three months. Wow. wow. Yeah, it was horrible. Is that not just trickery then too? Oh, it's uh, 100%, the worst. Drug. It's the worst. I think it's the worst. It's the drug. worst. Uh, oh, I my, mean, my is that methadone and heroin? I would do heroin first. Really? Oh, yeah, because my, methadone uh, yeah. is horrible. Yeah, my uncle overdosed on methadone. Oh, I believe it. Yeah. So and then I, you went to the Suboxone? So, yes, yeah, so then I went to Suboxone, and it's, it blocks the receptors to make you feel high. Ah. Like, you can take Vicodin or a painkiller, and it'll kill your pain. But you're not going to get that wee, you fun know, and it's not part of it. Fun part of it. of it. Basically, will make me pass out. Like when I was in the hospital recently, mm-hmm. um, they had to give me mm-hmm. painkillers because I was fucked up. But um, now, do you tell them? Well, like, major when that surgeries, happens? you know, you got to have them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah then, I told them that. Yeah, I told like them. Like I'm a they know. Yeah, you I, right I denied in. all of their pills until I was unconscious. Yeah. And it was just like, oh, well, we gave you morphine. I'm like, okay. Yeah. You know? Well, at that point, you were almost dead. Assholes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to argue because I bitch. was dying. But right, now, right. Now, this whole time, too, were you, you still on the Suboxone? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So and, then, and I credit that to saving my life, too, because I started taking that when I was in drug court. Yeah. Um, finally, my probation officer was like, what the fuck are we going to do? Yeah. Like, you just aren't going to get any better. better. And, um, and they're going to throw you out of this program. You're going to go to prison, yeah. basically, is the, all there was to it. Or, well, and your mom has your baby. Right. You're going to go to prison. Yep. You're never going to get off these fucking drugs. Yeah. And and you could probably and still get you, the drugs in prison. If you know anything about prison, there's mad drugs in prison. Mm-hmm. I mean, I... <laughs> brought drugs into prison? I brought drugs into prison. Yeah. I, I visited a friend who 
You're so hard, man. <laughs> Thinking so back, much... that was the stupidest thing yeah. in the fucking world. But why? I mean, why would you do that? Yeah. But why would did I do anything? Yeah, right. Because right. that's the addict's mind. Is you yeah. take you take the dumb. You, well, you do always... it now and then wait for consequences. And yep. there's always some way to rationalize yeah. it. Yep. There's always. always a rational thought in there. Well, it's and like, see, that's what I learned through therapy and all that is that think before you act. Yeah. What's going to happen tomorrow if I do this today? today. And that's kind of just, I just kind of keep my eye on uh, my kid. Yeah. yeah. Well, and like right. you don't even hardly drink Almost anymore. Almost never. Yeah. I mean, you don't, the only thing you do is smoke cigarettes nowadays. Which is going to come to an end soon. Yeah. <laughs> Good for yeah, you. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I, that's harder than anything. Absolutely. Ever. Oh, I bet. 100%. Yeah. Absolutely. My girlfriend. don't even smoke weed anymore. I remember we would smoke weed in the kitchen. <laughs> I, I actually would smoke weed if I wasn't looking for a new job. But uh, oh, I don't right. want somebody well, to test me and be like, I smoked once in six uh, years. Yeah, okay, right? so now that when you brought up a job thing, I want to go back and I want to talk about that specific area of your life now. So you've gone through all this. You get a felony or you have a couple felonies. I have three. You Holy have three shit. Drug, all drug related? I've never had a drug charge, never had a violent crime. They're, what are they from? Um, I have... Uh, or an assault. <laughs> okay. Uh, and um, you insulted someone? You were like, your mother smells yeah. of elderberries. That's exactly what happened. That's parts <laughs> in your general direction. Um, You're a big. The first felony is for when we were in that house that wasn't yeah. built. Oh, yeah. really? They yeah. got, you got a felony yeah. for that Yeah, you were a teenager. Son of a yep. whore. And um, okay. we have a... And it didn't fall off because you continued to be in trouble. No, it doesn't fall no, off because it's felon. a felony. Oh, Felonies. ever. Ever. Felonies Unless you, don't you fall can off. petition the court and right. get it expunged, like if you or got that one when you were sealed. a teenager and you didn't have any other trouble, it could probably go away. away. Yeah, but yeah, even today, if I had a background check, they would find it. Yeah, I mean, oh, yeah. and they have. Mm -hmm. um, you can't hide it. You, no. Even if it's expunged, it's still no, going to show up on some right, search results. I was results. looking for a job, and I thought that they only went back five years right. for um, background and. No. no, she's like, oh, wow. I have an assault. <laughs> I have that one um, for trespassing or whatever it is. And then I've got one for, it's like seeking drugs. Oh. I, I had called in a prescription at a pharmacy. Ah. And I had done it so much in the area that they caught on and they called the cops. Yeah. So. That's some shit. That's, that's yeah. wow. That is some shit. But, okay. That so then my worst. question is this. You have these felonies, but now you got to work. I mean, yeah. you got to raise a kid and you got to do stuff. So how does that work? I mean, how do you get past that being on your record? Can you go through these classes? Can you go through places where, you know, those will go away eventually and become invisible? No. No. I mean, I, I guess you can petition the court to seal it. Mm hmm but as far as I know, you can still find it if you're looking hard enough. Like the cops could still see it all. Oh yeah, you're right. But, cops right. will always. But see maybe it. if somebody was looking for a job, right, they wouldn't to, see it. Yeah, because that's what happened to my sister. Yeah, because she got busted selling coke. Right, and then the same thing, and so she had to wait like ten years or some crap, and then she could have them where Seal it's it. sealed. But the court system can still right. see everything. They still know what you. But can. your jobs can't. But it costs a lot of money. Yeah, and yeah, I had to. Uh, my first job after. All of that was at Subway making nine dollars an hour, mm -hmm. right? which is better than nothing. I was oh, ecstatic to be working. Totally right, right. Because that's man, all you you're gonna that get bus there every day, yeah. every day, oh. every single day. You worked really hard at that. Yeah, I did, and yeah. I was uh, eventually I was assistant manager, um, but I moved on to a different restaurant and worked my way up there uh, too. Good for you. the The bummer part is is that they can go check your background and see your felony. But they can't see all the work that, that you've, you've done. done. That's what and I was they just say. see the charge. They, they don't just see yeah. what the went charge. into they it. Don't yeah. see no, they the, don't see that. They just see you know, I was at the wrong place at the wrong, wrong time. time. Uh, uh, how do you even know what happened? Right. Yeah. You don't even have a chance to explain yourself. Uh -uh. It's nope. like, oh, we interviewed, we background checked, that's it, that's you're done. It. Yep. My nephew had that happen. He was in a car with some friends mm -hmm. and they got pulled over and the friend had stole the car. So everyone in the car got charged with stealing the car. They were all participants. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Because well, no one like, would, no one would claim it. Well, no, I didn't steal. Snitch. I didn't steal. Well, I didn't I'll steal get in trouble. I learned. Right. They're all getting it. Even when my my nephew's like, no, it was them. It was them. They're like, yeah, yeah. Well, guess what? No one else is saying that, but you. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. so maybe you're, it was you. Maybe it yeah. was you. That is what they say. That is crazy. I think that um, my most favorite thing and the most thing that I love about you the most 
is, man, your tenacity. You have worked so incredibly hard in so many areas of your life that people don't even know about that, you know, we don't, we're not even going to talk about, but you have just done such an incredible 360. Mm Mm-hmm. And thank you. <laughs> I mean, now you own your own place. I do. Own, you yeah, own you're a home. Owner. You own two vehicles. Yeah. You own two cars. You have a son who's going to be probably building um, like shit for outer space. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. You're a manager at Applebee's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come up. I'm I mean, not right there. $25,000. Hey, I just saw Taco Bell's hiring their managers a hundred grand a year. Yeah. I, I believe yeah. it. Yeah. You're okay, mom. It's cool. Yeah. You're okay. Absolutely. It's all good. Oh, I believe it. But and I want to say in that too, uh, I love your mom, man. Me too. Uh, You know, I I appreciate that you say you wish you would have been a little tougher in the beginning. Hell yeah! And let you sit in jail. When you were nineteen, and then maybe you wouldn't have gone to prison when you were twenty nine. (laughs) Fourteen. <laughs> well, fourteen yeah. instead. Yeah, of, then absolutely. you wouldn't have gone to prison at twenty nine, yep. maybe. So maybe that is a, a lesson, and and that is be hard on the kids. I no, think don't so. Be afraid, I, you know, I think you that get, honesty and who knows transparency works. works. Yeah, because everything was such a big secret. Yeah. It's like don't do this, don't say this, you know. And I think that's just the way she grew up with yeah. my grandparents. It was between them. Yeah, the kids aren't involved. And yeah, and you know, and so you yeah. just kind of go off of what you know. Yeah, and. I'm not like that. But it's just you My, and your brother, right? Yes. Yeah. And so then it is also to, she was a single mom. Yep. And she worked all the time. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we were home alone. And my brother's a couple years older. So when we moved here, he had friends and he did his yeah. thing. And it was just me and, you know, yeah, you were, left to my vices. Uh, yeah, you were just a fend for yourself. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. yeah. And and I don't. I think I'm just open and honest with my son. Like, yeah. Well, at just that because you think they're a junkie or a drug addict doesn't mean they're a bad person, right? right. Like people make bad choices, yeah. and this is the choice that you don't want to make. Yeah. yeah, and look what happened to mom. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah. we were honest with my kids when I went through it. Good. We told our kids, you know, they were right in their pre-teens or tens, tweens, teens. I don't even know anymore. I can't remember time, but we were honest, and I was saying I am struggling with these pills. Do not get caught up. It's that easy to get tricked. And you don't even know. And it doesn't take but three weeks on a regular dose of freaking narcotics and you're hooked. Yeah, you can take yeah. take a regular it, dose of narcotics for three days and feel withdrawal. Right. What it does do is it gives you a channel of communication with those children to and say, of shit I know about. It's yeah, not like, yeah. oh, that's a bad junkie. Don't be like that. You like know? now that our kids are older... Like, uh, I don't know, before Patrick moved out, I found all those little nitrous mm-hmm. things in his yeah. room, right? <laughs> Which so, is concerning, you know? That's, so, that's, like, I know it's this just me nitrous, but some mom, little. Because I'm not, I'm not a pussyfoot around mom. Right. I'm like a fucking throw the fuck in this? your lap. What is this? What is this? What is this? Oh, Why well, is there 40 of them? It's just this and this. Oh, well, what about these? And what about right. these? <laughs> and what about that? Oh, oh, oh. You know what I mean? And then it's like, don't fuck with me, dude. We're having a real conversation. Well, and I know is about a, life. What the yes. fuck? What are you doing? And then it's like, well, it wasn't just me. It was me and the gang, which is eight of them. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? We're all blah, blah, blah. And then I'm like, well, is this a regular thing? Like, are you, are you doing this all the time? Like, we're having this fucking conversation. I am holding you accountable right now. 100%. Right, right. There's and no that, way around huge. it. It's, that's it's, huge. It is huge. Instead of just yep. this kind of downplaying and being like, okay, well, whatever. Well, being yeah. like, fucking Be tell careful. Them, you give might me get a number. Yeah. How oh, many. that's no, no, exactly no. it. Uh, no, mine is. Are you already yeah. addicted? Yeah. So are you doing do we need help? Do, do we, we need to, need to take yeah. this to yeah. somewhere else? And then it's like, mom, mom, mom. It was Calm just down. A it was one night of partying, <laughs> and I'm like, well, guess what? This yeah. is mom, and yeah. I'm in your asshole now. Yeah. yeah. So, right, right. You stay in your asshole. Uh-huh. Make sure you're not addicted yeah, right, to huffing right. the shit. Right, Absolutely. Exactly. Well, Billy Bob just showed up with a case, and so we sat down here. And it's like, all right, let's don't fucking hang out with Billy Bob anymore. Yeah, fuck him. He's not allowed in my house. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care how dirty your room is. I will always find the one thing uh-huh. you're trying totally. to hide from yeah. you. Oh, big time. It's well, like a beacon. I go in there, and I'm like, beep, 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 what's beep, not beep, in beep. here? And then, yeah. <laughs> the worst is when she finds the found the crunchy socks, though. <laughs> <laughs> Because she has so like a beacon. So many socks. Beep, 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 beep. Crunchy, 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 crunchy. Just no. <laughs> he's, he's like his dad. He just used a towel. I'd uh, see him and I'd be like, oh, no. I'm walking away from that. Uh, when uh, you're, away. When your towel stands like a teepee, <laughs> mom doesn't touch that towel. <laughs> yeah. Aren't you so glad your kids moved out? <laughs> oh, they really are. We really are glad they did. Uh, you know They're what so I'm so glad about, which you're going to be so glad about? They're amazing people. 
for and sure. And your kid is on a trajectory to, to be, be an amazing Elon person. Elon Musk. That's what I'm yeah. saying. I mean, I mean, his I hope so. ability. I hope he doesn't lose focus and he is get so What if we up. challenge him? What if we ask him to write some code and write us an app? Oh. He probably could do it. He you could. know what I mean? He's really good at writing code, so yeah. maybe he could put together the code and write us an app. This is what we'll maybe do. Maybe that's a challenge. We'll Remy do. could be a part of it because app. We'll, we'll trade him. App code writers right now, like you were saying about Candy Crush. Candy Crush, yeah. But we'll trade him what? We'll, we'll trade him we'll anything trade he wants. Him any costuming, leather works, mm. anything like that Ooh. for. The, for the for the app for the code yep for the app he's so smart I'll, I will you I will know what I love that to him later yes yeah, mo- let's because motivate you know what I love him about his, him I'll build him his character is he's out of his so James smart costume. but yet artistic a hundred percent which makes him flighty oh and he's so spacey but yeah. when he wants to do something and he's focused it's a hundred percent and it's above and beyond right. and it's amazing like his first code he got an award at school exactly and like. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah imagine the He's app so if you had complete When he freedom. comes over here and I was like, hey, I saw your word. He's like, oh my God, mom. You told everybody. Just tell everyone. Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> that was funny. He rolled his eyes. What did you tell everybody? You're like, I put it on Facebook. I told everybody. I told everybody. <laughs> and that's why I was like, you should be proud, little Absolutely. man. Absolutely. Yeah. So, I mean, and you should be proud. I am. I'm be, unbelievably proud. I'm yeah. sure 10 years ago when you're sitting in a nice cold jail cell. Oh. I can't even imagine what that was like thinking about, where's my boy? Your I mom's like got him. Especially because you're fucking paying your mom child support. Well, that's what I was going to say because <laughs> your mom did it right the last time. She, yeah. When you said she, she took, took everything, she took custody of your mm-hmm. child. Yeah, 100%. She took complete control of your... Every, I mean, everything. She Britney Spears you. Yeah, she, I couldn't... I didn't even have... A, I had no place to go. Yeah. I had, no, I had to ask permission to talk to my son. Yeah, you know, that's horrible. That's I mean, hard. it's like even... Okay, And he was withdraw, old enough to know. He was a three... Ish. Okay. Well, he, but he, he grew. Enough. Yeah, yeah he grew so while I was smart, yeah. in the, in jail. Um, and I I feel like between pills and heroin and drugs and all that withdraw compared to being ripped away from your kid is nothing. Mm. That's so much. Oh, it's like so physical pain. Yeah, it hurts. That's real. So, so I it hurts. Ugh. It hurts. Never. And you know what? You're it, still feeling it. Oh, yeah. I'm feeling it with I you know, right me now. Too. It's bad. And yeah. I think too. Like that's that's what I. You just you never that feeling never goes away. And I can't even say this because I'm a step parent, and it's like man. But when you do commit. Yeah, to that little person that way it is like oh, you're taking my breath away yeah. even when it's your it fuck up hurts. you're just like yeah. oh my god I can't breathe I can't believe I did that I can't believe yeah, I did that right. I can't believe how am I going to fix this what am I going to do yeah. what are they yeah. going to think of me oh my god oh my yeah. god and he thinks the world of you I don't think he remembers the bad things no. that happened because, because he was he's, little no. he was so and little and you changed and I changed it for the better yeah. as he grew up yeah. and even He's an amazing kid. All he sees of you is all the stuff you do, the yeah. work. Hard work. And yeah. Oh, and he I took his meals he does, and... He doesn't bad. care. No. You know, but he sees it. Because <laughs> he's 12 or 13, however he's. 12. He's, he's 12, great, yeah. though. Because uh, that's what 12 years old. They don't They don't care. Uh, you've come a long way, babe. Having a child taken from you is the most painful thing in the uh, you world. You are correct. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I yeah, would rather yeah. withdraw from heroin for the rest of uh, my life. Um, right. Also, then good for you. You again. could have just felt like a victim and then I'm just laid around victim. feeling sorry for yourself. But yet you pulled yourself up and you got out of it. That's Dina Joe. Both those comments right there. Hey, thanks, Dina. Code Paranormal being a former cop has said he's seen a lot of people on the other side of this Ugh. story. Yeah, yeah so have so I. I mean, I'm, he's, he himself is very you proud. You I had a says, friend that like died on my couch. What? But she came, I mean, she got back to life. I called my own She but, came back to did life. Did you like do some <laughs> I had I went, did you pull a picture on her there? fucking chest? Yeah. Oh, she was my blue. God. Gravy. I took a picture of her and she got mad. She's like, she tried to sell my pictures like <laughs> nobody just, wants to see your dead ass you <laughs> selfied my corpse well this how could you be pissed Facebook. if someone selfied your corpse but i so she passed out and was like turning wow. blue so i was like beating the fuck out of her yeah. and she woke up yeah and then we kind of chit chatted for a minute she's like why are you hysterical i was like dude you, you died, blue. You died. You and she died. passed back out and she wouldn't wake back up yeah. But we had taken some pills. Oh, yeah. man. And so I, like, propped her up, and I sat on the couch, and I was going to stay with her all night. 
and I ended up falling asleep and I woke up and she was fucking purple. So I oh, called 911 no. and they told me to like pound on her chest. Yeah. So I did and she was breathing and yeah. she was fine and then it was bad. Yeah. And then you took a picture of her like, I took a look at this while purple she bitch on out. my couch. <laughs> I, took a of her. I did the not time, kill her. <laughs> the first time I took a picture so I could show her and she was like, holy shit. I was like, I told you, you were blue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Who's the witch in Little Mermaid? The yeah. Blue. Ursula. 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 Look at this Ursula looking bitch off my couch. She was too. She was fucking dark blue. Her lips were purple. Oh my god. That would be so that would scary. Be so think, scary. Especially if you wake up knowing you're all high on drugs with a person and they're blue. Yeah. yeah. Purple. Oh my well, god. Then you, you I have that fear run moment away. too of like, oh my god. Woo. I'm fucked up too. I'm going to call the ambulance right now oh, yeah, and this person is dead on my couch. That's scary. I was like, no, she's Back not breathing. Collar. Break what should collar. I do? <laughs> Yeah, she's ah. not breathing, and she's a deep shade of purple. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, what? Wow. Yeah, that was really scary. And I went to visit <laughs> she's her. She's this genie little... from Aladdin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I, I mean, that could have been me. Yeah. All so of, many times, right? Times. When, at that time, when we lived out there, um, Dave was out of town four to six days a week. Oh, wow. And so it could have been Ben at home by himself. Self with you. With me fucked up, passed out, dead bloated well, shitting you, on myself you yeah. know Who there's knows? that fucked up scene in train spotting <gasps> which yeah, is a movie yeah, from yeah, the yeah, 90s yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? that's a fucked up movie but well, that's a true that's a horrible, i mean that is a, yeah that is a true scenario yep i mean and imagine how fucking shitty you feel when <sighs> you wake up to that if anyone hasn't watched train spotting you should just be well aware. Just, it's, really it's, really it's in the news movie. and i mean in the news you you hear about it all the time a parents passed out in the car or, in the know, car. You, find a, or you find or a kid in the middle in the of the road, road and they lead it back to their dead mom in the car yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. could have been car. me yeah yeah that happened so, too with the two parents right yeah died more in than the once car. Yep. yeah all with the time the kids. Uh, ones that died and ones that weren't dead they were just totally whacked on heroin yeah it was your mom is your mom taking your baby finally? She was like, you Yeah, know what? I think that's this is I mean, what that's you exactly love. what I think about any wow. time that I get discouraged. It's yeah. not, I don't think about going to seek drugs. No. But there are times when I'm like, I'm gonna get fucked up tonight and that I am yeah, done. I'm, drinking, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Yeah. And I'm like, I have to go home to my kid and he needs dinner and a shower and that's what I'm gonna well, do. Yeah, I just wanna right. tell you a little remind you of a story you told me. I don't know within this last year and you went out and they Dave and him picked you up and you were buzzed oh god I was wasted and you were like I can never do that again I can no. never oh what did him. you like gone out with the oh, friends oh yeah to um, a concert at Red Rocks and I didn't even make it to the main show oh before I called Dave and I was like yeah <laughs> <laughs> and I was like I'm at the gate <laughs> oh my god oh, no I was find me <laughs> it was like they're driving around in circles he's like where are you and I was oh, like I don't shit. know I don't know and then um, like he found my phone in the parking lot at my oh, mom's shit. house yep. the next oh, morning I lost wow. my credit card I lost my ID yeah. and it was still light out yep. and it, Ben was like uh, maybe you shouldn't drink that's what you told me you're like the worst part was the next day when Ben was like God, mom. <laughs> yeah. And every time I even have like a beer, he's like, "Are you gonna get drunk?" Wow, uh-huh. no, it's okay yeah, to have a beer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and yeah. that's not gonna get. We wasted. talked about it. Ramy and I talked about it, and she was like, "It's so lame." Ouch. Because I did that one time. But one time. Now he's so afraid that I'm gonna get so drunk that it's like, "Oh, you're you're drinking." It's him just well, having think, one drink. Well, and I think that it's difficult for him to see me not in control oh absolutely because i do control my household and i control everything, everything in it and yeah. the people and, in and it. the yeah, people yeah. and my life yeah. and i'm very very structured yeah and when i'm out of my ass he's it's it's different like, and he doesn't know what to do this? yeah and yeah. that's okay i like it that's happened one right. time okay he'll, he'll will never forget no that's okay exactly what well, you were just that important yeah yeah is that the idea of you being out of your normal this is, is a frightening does. thought yeah, yeah. yeah. and this which is, means he's never moving out this is what <laughs> it does <laughs> <laughs> this is what it does is he gets older like patrick was i don't know in his early 20s and he and his buddies were all here and that's when the tv room was where my work room is and like wake up the next morning and you can visibly tell that someone threw up on the floor right and they cleaned it up not to the best but they tried and so then all the boys are in there and we're like who threw up on the floor and they're all like man your kid you know <laughs> and then it's like oh shit and then here i am mom right and i'm like hey you partied you puked you Fuck cleaned it up, it up. Yeah. 
Yeah, good half ass at it, but let's just let's finish just that finish up. Let's finish it up right <laughs> now. That's gross. Yeah, and it's like, well, and and because you've seen Dad have to clean up his mess, you yeah. know. Oh the yeah, next yeah. Day, yep. Then it's like, yeah, you're cleaning up your mess. This is what too. happens when you get wasted. Yep. Yeah, you it's your choice. Your you don't have to do That's it. Paying the piper. <laughs> <laughs> Pick up your throw up. Well, I think it's pretty amazing, and I also feel like uh, I think life is tricky sometimes, right? Like you had this amazing kid and life tried to steal everything away from you, yeah. which included that amazing kid who's going to grow up to be some mad scientist. Yes. Right. <laughs> and so yes. it's like, and because you fought and persevered and was like, okay, there's something other than just me in this world that I need to worry about. And now you're going to get to see it happen. You know, I mean, yeah, who, who knows? Ben could have done the exact same thing you did. Had you not chose to get your shit together. True. He could probably be running the streets right now. Right now. He would not be nice little lovable Ben no. that he is. I mean, no. he is a great person. Indeed. Yeah. He's the kindest person I think I've ever met. I mean, you know, he goes to school with other kids his age and you're like, that kid's going to jail. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know. Oh, you know. Uh, you you know. do know. I mean, we've had conversations about the kids in our neighborhood. Yep. That you're like, oh, oh well, and I, I was his age. Yep. I, mean, I remember. And I was still fresh to this city and it was like i was running amok yeah my mom was always at work too yeah it was i was you know smoking cigarettes and doing whatever the fuck my friends wanted me to do yep and he's just not like that Nah, he's very strong-willed and he doesn't do anything that he doesn't want to do yeah which is good and bad it's a pain in the ass (laughs) but it's good for him on the streets yeah absolutely it's good for him on the streets and you know what he's not on the streets I think that's (laughs) get out. That's the one thing, though, that is the difference between you and him. You had the desire to go out, and he does not. I don't know if I had the desire, but I was bored. Yeah, my mom was at work. Yeah, and my brother was was a teacher, so she was what? No, when we moved here, she worked at Norgren. Okay, well, well, that's still five. Yeah, I wonder if she worked at Norgren when my mom worked at Norgren. I don't know. She worked there for since ninety. Oh, I bet nineteen ninety to just now. She retired ninety. We met in 99. My mom went back to school and we graduated together in 94. So maybe oh my, God, my mom such a baby. left and Peggy came in. Maybe. But I, we do things together. Like if my mom would have had time, I think she would have done the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. But, were, but mean, she was a single and, mom. And she did. I mean, it, like on the weekends, we went places and did, did things. Stuff. And, you yeah. know, it's whatever. Soft stuff. But, yeah, saw stuff too. But then sometimes when you go out and you get in that group of people, you feel like that's where you belong. Right. And it kind of becomes a habit. Mm-hmm. You a- Well, I can tell you, for me, you alienate yourself from your family. Yeah. When right. you start hanging out with Well, and it's crowd. more fun to be with your friends, right. especially you're doing in drugs. a new town. And, you, and, and you're and doing you, bad things. You smoke and, weed and yeah. stuff. You don't want to be around your parents. You're well, I have to weed. steal yeah. her cigarettes, you know, and go smoke Yeah, because she friends. smokes, right. Yeah, used to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you're getting high smoking the cigarettes. Yes. Oh, and yeah. And so you can't go back no. and hang out with them. Can't get sick. Mm-mm. Yeah. Who's going to know? Yeah, right? <laughs> I mean, come on. That's so funny. Mm-hmm. Life is so incredibly long, right? But Man. The days are long, but the years are really short. short. That's weird, right? But the life is long. But yeah. But yet it's also short. It's so super short. Yeah. yeah. But you realize, oh, this is never going to happen. And then life is long enough that allows things that you can't imagine that would ever happen, happen to come around and yeah. happen. Yeah. But yet life is so short that you realize you do nothing. That just happened. It, yeah. I'm yeah. done already. Yeah. It's done. Yeah. Yep. I'm done. It's yep. already happened. Yeah. Here we it's are. It's crazy. That is how it is when you raise kids. It's like you have this wonderful little baby. And then all of a sudden, there's a giant, hairy, 24-year-old Patrick staring at you. I know. Mom. Some hairy I, little I man. I love those kids, man. Yeah. Every time he comes to the house, like I'm cooking the other night, and he's just standing there. And I'm like, what are you standing for? He's standing there to hug me. Aww. Right? And so then it's like, you oh. You needed to give him a minute. Yes. And then it's like, oh, right. And then I take a minute, and I love on him. And it's Aww. like, man, yeah. Because he is still that 10-year-old he little kid. He still needs his mom. Yeah. He's still those, they're still those little kids. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, even though they're hairy, stinky men. Yeah. With he, beards. His key is locked in his ignition right oh. oh. I told him it's broke off it. in his ignition I said bring it to the house and we'll get it out and he's like mom I've tried everything and I said to you him one, mom. son bring it to your mom and she'll get it out and he's like I know <laughs> I'm just trying so hard yeah. <laughs> you still need your mom and I'm as soon 40 as comes, and I need my mom it's gonna be so simple and he's gonna be like damn it yeah. I'm try that yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Because those kids are smart, man. She's going to turn the car on its side and shake, shake it. it out. And the key will fall out. That's, that's what moms do. 
Yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Turn it over. That's right. Don't even but question. You know what? It's it's a fun journey, and you're on a great you're on a great. Path, well, you're like trajectory. You're so close now. I yeah. mean, you're you got like really five years left. Oh, the hard years were just the beginning. Right. Yeah, and, oh, and, and yeah. they're, they're started. Terrible, and they're the shortest, twos, right? And, and terrible threes and oh. all that stuff. That's nothing. I to, know. It just, it's it, scary. Uh, what is I it? don't they, want they my kids turn, to change. They turn 14 and their brains just melt and run out their ear. Yeah. yeah. So you just know, put a little petri, petri dish yep. by their bed every night and so then you can pour catch it. Back it. In. <laughs> yep. You get the possessed preteens. And I think Ooh. Patrick's brain reformed about 17. Yeah, came it's, back together. It started coming back where I'm he so wasn't a, a daughter. <laughs> he wasn't a dick anymore, and he was like, okay, you know, because they just get all hormonal and they yeah. don't understand what is just raging oh, through yeah. their Oh, yeah. Oh, I veins. know. It's already started. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. I Wait. believe it was Mark Twain who said, <laughs> when I was 14, I couldn't believe how stupid my parents were. Yeah. I and when I turned well. 21, I couldn't believe how much they'd learned in <laughs> six years. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's Good like Mark Twain. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. And so when they hit that age, they just have this rush of hormones, and yeah, they can't and control it, it. it. It's it just scrambles everything else yep. inside. They can't think. Yeah, and that's why I mean, it's gosh, beautiful. Patrick and I talked about it not too long ago about a fight we had in the garage when he was fourteen. Because I thought for sure I'm I've lost him. I've lost this kid <laughs> because I'm going to fucking murder him. Oh. Right? And then he's still here. And we still get well, along yes. so well. Yeah. And you're here. I've made him patch all his own holes in the wall. Yeah. <laughs> That's a great idea. Yeah. yeah. But I hope my kid's not crazy. No. He will be. Patrick wasn't crazy. All his well, holes. I know, but yeah. I know. His I'm holes crazy, were from but like... flinging his drumsticks across the basement uh. and they'd stab into the freaking <laughs> drywall. And then it's like, I'm like, What's this hole from? Again? I don't know. And then once I figured out what it was, I was like, dude. All right, I'm taking your drums away. Yeah, <laughs> we are not having Swiss cheese in this basement. Give me a break. Yeah. That's well, he was great. just pretending he was tossing a stick out to He's the crowd. A rock star. He had his 14 year old girlfriend out there. Take your stick, baby. Had that girl not been paying attention, it put, put her, her eye, eye out. out. Yeah, he'd have killed that. <laughs> he would have killed that. Then we'd have had two murders. Right. Yep. <laughs> well, one I- on stage, one off. Yep freaking love it man i love it you've done so good in your life and mm-hmm. i just want to encourage you and tell you what an amazing person i think you are oh, i don't know that you. we ever talk about it um i have really yes, enjoyed your friendship oh. over these last several years and i've enjoyed watching you change your life thank you i've enjoyed watching your struggle as crazy as that sounds oh, yeah well everybody does it's inspirational <laughs> i mean no not like everybody likes it not everybody struggles it, but... yeah everybody <laughs> struggles, struggles. But not everyone struggles well. True. Well, and I feel like and when I struggle, I just come and I start screaming and you're okay with that. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely, man. You know why? Because you're going to be different when you're done. Yeah. Well, and sometimes people just need to get it out. Yeah. And that's the kind of friend I am. You yeah. can call me and start screaming and it'll mm-hmm. be okay. Yeah. Yeah. You're gotta- even a better friend, though, because you could cuss up a storm and you don't get offended by Oh, no. It. We had a call, but somehow we, we lo- I lost the call, but we had a caller. Oh. Oh. Well, she don't know what she's doing. Uh, that's all right. Gliss, she was calling in, I think, to, oh. to maybe she had a question for you. But. Ah, you could type it out. We could see. Absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just want to encourage all of our listeners out there, too. Like, you're never stuck. <clears throat> no, you're if never you stuck. feel like My- you need help, reach out. And there's tons of um, free programs. There's tons of you know free therapy which doesn't come around very often but unless you know where to find it right um i feel like people don't get therapy and they never really get better i guess i don't know i mean yeah well Well, was that what you would call it yeah better you get because they don't deal with the issues yeah if you don't deal with the issues you don't get better yeah and you have to take accountability of it you have to own it and then you can change it Yep. Turn it into something else. Yeah. And now here you are, and it's pretty fantastic. I can't wait to see what the next couple of years bring for you. Maybe yeah. I'll just be a millionaire because my kid's great. That's right. Totally. I mean, that's he's my gonna, goal. He's going to write the code for our app. Yeah. Yes. And, that's and what's then we'll all be all. millionaires. Yes. That's exactly right. Well, I think it's a great message, too, that, you know, even if you feel like you've got issues, addictions, or things, stumbling blocks in your life, you can get past 
these Absolutely. things. Absolutely. Anything. And you can... Dean and Joe right there, too. Everyone thinks that therapy is wrong or bad. Uh-huh. Yep. And it's not. Or, no, Or that God, you're super broken, that you need it. And no. it's like, oh, my God. Even super kidding? healthy people... Need it. Need it. And, yeah. and seek it. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, we all need to talk it. about it because of the thank fact you. that because sometimes we've all got <laughs> thank you <laughs> past stuff that that jacks with us. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. everybody does. Yeah. Everybody so. does. Well, that's it too. Like right. <clears throat> for me, everyone's like, "Oh, you're always so happy. Oh, you're always so great." <clears throat> Only rare people. Like you're one of the people that have seen me a complete mess and not. Oh, Shana. You right. know what I mean? But it is like, yeah, man. Everybody needs it. Everybody needs that person to go to and to confide in yeah, and to absolutely. be like, "Fuck, I'm so." fucked up be right real. now yeah i'm just yeah, so for real. fucked well, up right just now be real and yeah. these are my thoughts yeah as, as fucked up as they are these are my thoughts and i can tell you because i'm not going to act on them and you're not going to judge me for having uh-huh. them you know and right. i'm just going to listen and yeah and i might get mad with you uh, yeah <laughs> for sure <laughs> that's probably true for me being able to get off of the pills was being able to tell Shane I was on them yeah. right. and then I then that's had huge. the strength to get off of them yeah, yeah. do you know what I mean well, so sometimes somebody it's just knows it's finding a little person. bit of the secret is broken so right. it makes it a little bit easier yeah. right exactly yeah well the yeah the whole secret is broken right and now these well, are your options but there's uh, other people in his life too yeah. yes you're the most important yeah but then you got to deal with the kids oh, yeah. and then you got to deal with everybody from yeah. that might no, or might find out and then it's like yes yes yeah. i was yeah. and i don't think we told anyone for a really long time did you guys talk to each other when you did your nails on no I'm... on what you're gonna do <gasps> look at look at your nails <laughs> i just know it's both put your other hand up that's funny yeah <laughs> that, you guys are <laughs> maybe i saw your nails when we had lunch with you and i was maybe like maybe that's oh, what I it was because i just oh, noticed no. yeah, right now you guys are talking you guys are wondering why you were touching the, me like the that the same, like, same <laughs> you have the same i thought he was gonna pray with I you know. nail scheme <laughs> i thought he was gonna propose <laughs> <laughs> i might do both <laughs> yes I'm Mormon now. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> you know what? Yes. I'm in. I think it's right. great. Life. That's Beautiful. right. Beautiful. At least I know you got your shit together. <laughs> right. Oh, my God. You can you can move into my house. Well, yeah, we will. I'm not going to okay. have to do okay. anything around my house. No, no you more. won't. You don't even have to pay rent. <laughs> oh, man. Pour me another drink. Yes. <laughs> Make me a turkey pot pie. Women's. <laughs> <laughs> Women's. <laughs> I love it. Ramey, thanks for being our friend. Of Man, course. Yeah. For, Thank you for being my for friend. Thanks for being my friend for 22 years. Yeah. You're welcome. Thanks for grandfathering me in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Any I day. It. Man, I love it. And you know what? I continue to be an inspiration. I'm going to try. Totally. Yeah. And now as Ben gets older, you get to do for you. Yeah, I so can't wait. I tell everybody this. When when your kid is like 7th, 8th grade, you have to start empty nesting. Because no. it takes, it takes yeah. all that it takes time another eight years. for you it to does. get used to it. I don't think I will. And for them to get used yeah, to it. Not. You don't think you'll have to empty nest? I don't want him to leave. I do. I want him to be an independent human. but Just he's, in your basement? He's going to leave. At some I point, know. he's gonna he need he's gonna need to go to college. He's I gonna know. have babies because his brain. <gasps> he's gonna be a dad, and then you're gonna be a grandma, mama, a yeah. grandma. Randy. You guys are assholes. Yeah. Hey, this people say it to us. Oh, ours are in our their twenties, yeah. so we're way it, closer to being grand people than yeah. you are, which I am not at all. Would you go by grandpa or would you go by something else? They will address me as Sean. <laughs> Excuse Captain me. Captain Sean. No. Well, we have a thing in my in my family, my dad and so there's a, there we all have names. So my dad right now is the old one and I'm the young one. Oh. Well, now Patrick has become the young the young one. And so now there's kind of two young ones. So now I'm number 1 and Patrick's oh, you're the young so one. Lying. No, and no, the this, dad, this is how it goes now. Jack is I'm the ancient, ancient one. one. So Jack, Sean is the old oh, one, oh, and man. Patrick yeah, yeah. is the young one. I'm still one. holding on to number one, but yes, the number way one, now, young one. <laughs> so my dad is the ancient one. I'm the old one, and Patrick is the young one. So then, when the uh, baby comes, I'm not really sure. Then I guess you I'll go back the to number. You can go by whatever you want. Patrick becomes number one, and then the baby becomes the young one. Yeah. And I'm, so I'm the still baby, the old one. You, so your kids call Grandpa the ancient one. I know. They will. Oh. They, they don't call know him. him. They, they call, call him Jack. Jack. <laughs> and they call really, him and, Grandma. And Would you be Grandma? 
His Grandma name, Kim is Grandma His name Kim. is Marvin. <clears throat> But no, it is. Calls <laughs> no, it's not. I know your dad. My, they call my parents grandpa and grandma. Okay, so they, they are grandma call, and grandpa. They call, Would you be grandma? Yeah. Or do you want to be like hey, a hey, hey. or a me? Yeah, no, 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 I don't like, like any that. of that. Mine would have to be something different. I don't know, actually. Yeah. I'm going to make I, up a word. I, I yeah. never intended to ben be a mom. Call, ben used to call my mom Moggy. Oh. I don't Moggy. Know. I don't know. Yeah. He made it up. Grandma. Yoda. No, it was like, <laughs> I'm going to go like with Yoda. Grammy, but it was Moggy. Yeah. It was different. Yeah. But I don't know, because I never intended to be Grover. a mom. So Neither did I. I don't know, but I'm glad I I'm am. I'm going to let them do it and see I what I think they I will be known idea. as Snuffleupagus. Yes, that's really hard for <laughs> My grandchildren will have to. I don't care. Snuffy. They'll yes, get it. No, <laughs> no I, I won't answer to that. <laughs> <laughs> I will only answer... That's a great idea. I think that I won't be a grand anything. I think I'm going to make up a whole. Or you could thing. just be grand. No. That's right. I am bright the all, and glittery. I am the all and powerful Oz. Yes, I am grand. <laughs> yeah, I think I will. I'll come. I'm going to make up my own word now. Do I it. love it. I've got time, hopefully, to think about it. Absolutely. So I, I, I at this point, I mean, Patrick's 24, Ariel's 22. I think. I wonder if they will have children. Yep. It's a whole thing now. Yeah, true. I didn't have Ben until I was 28. That's not bad, though. No, I couldn't I have done it I, one minute sooner. And I told my kids that, too. I said, I would rather you wait till you're closer to your 30s and live in your 20s. Yeah, and be <laughs> yeah. okay with like giving it up. Yeah. Because everything changes. Yeah, everything changes. Your whole life Yeah, you don't give up changes. anything until you have a kid, and then you yeah. give it all. And you up. think you give up everything sometimes. And you're like, you oh my God, I had to give up having fun to get this job. I had to work. And then you're like, oh, I have a kid, I have to give up everything. I yeah. had a great job, and I made a ton of money. I had no intention of being a parent. And then I met Sean, and within a year, I was a stay at home mom. Mm -hmm. No job. No job. Just kids. Yeah. Just kids. She did skip the whole barefoot and pregnant thing. Good Thank for you, Jesus. She was just, bare, <laughs> she was just barefoot. That's the best, that's the best you, thing ever. Jesus. Yeah. I was barefoot and brawless. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's brilliant. Oh, man. I remember those days. Those Tomorrow. are still days. <laughs> yeah. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow is the best day. Tomorrow's Tomorrow is the best day. The best day. Well, Something thank you, Ramy. You're welcome. Oh, man. We're I know. Jump all over Thanks that. for having me. Uh, yeah, come back. And then. I really appreciate that you sat here at this table and did shots with us. And I yeah. did cry. And I you, know. Well, we all I I, cried. I, I teared a up a little bit. bit, too. We all kind of got a little bit. It was the last podcast there. I did. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> that's how you know you're healing. Yeah, maybe. The more yep. you can talk about well, it. And I was super nervous because it was like the radio station yeah. was weird. Yeah. It's a lot oh, of pressure. That's right. Yeah. We should have played some of that. Yeah. Oh, we could. Oh, well, right. We can link it. I'm yeah. I still got to find Judge We can Judy. link it. Yes, you do. Yeah. He's gonna and find then it. you need to tell me because I've never. We're going to find it. it before you leave. Okay. We're going to find it together. I, I pee. am on the season. I have to pee pretty bad, too. So. Yeah. I and almost let mine shit. go because I'm on a vine. Well, I don't have to do that. Don't do that. I can't change my pants here, so. <laughs> That's right. Oh, right. I probably could. You, you probably could. Fit. Oh, sure. I got pants here for <laughs> you. Got, some got pants. I got, over. I got, I got You don't need any pants. Everybody. That's right. right. You get a sarong okay. here. Yes. <laughs> yeah, right? That's how it goes at this place. Well, I love it. Thank you for coming on here. Mm, thank, thank you, you for, for being our me. friend. Thank you for keeping us accountable for being who we are. Mm. Yeah, because you Ditto. do that too. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you're 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 great about being blunt. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Good <laughs> that I am. Good for you. I think that you're like the only other person I know that I feel like is me. Well, yeah. Like you, but just not with everybody. But yeah. just you know, yeah. You Sometimes have to be with, with your friends. Everybody. Sometimes right. with strangers, you're like, "What are you dumb?" <laughs> God, you're a fucking idiot. I just told you where the keys were at. <laughs> you know where I am. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's just, that's just mom talk right there. Yeah, it is. That's how moms talk. <laughs> to each other. Yep. yep. I love it. Everybody have a good day. All right. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. 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 Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> that's it. Call. Oh. All right, say goodbye. Oh, you did. We that. did. All right. <laughs>